Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, section 5.5 percents lesson. Pause while you write section 5.5 lesson in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is convert between percents and fractions. Today we'll be starting on page 220 in your math textbook. Example 1, we'll be writing percents as fractions. Letter A, write 35% as a fraction in simplest form. So 35% equals 35 over 100. So we write the fraction with a denominator of 100 and then we simplify it. So that means we need to divide the top and the bottom by 5 because that's the greatest common factor of 35 and 100 and that equals 7 twentieths. So 35 percent equals 7 twentieths. So that means that they are equivalent. Letter B, we write 100 percent as a fraction in simplest form. 100 equals 100 over 100. So when we simplify that, it equals 1. So 100% equals 1. Letter C. Write 174% as a mixed number in simplest form. So we know that that's going to be greater than 1. 174% is an improper fraction. It's 174 over 100. And so when we reduce that it equals 87 fiftieths and then to write it as a mixed number it equals 1 and 37 fiftieths. So 174 percent is equivalent or equal to 1 and 37 fiftieths. Moving on to page 221 and example 2 we'll be writing a fraction as a percent. So if we have 3 fiftieths, we need to think about how we change the denominator into 100. So we take 50 and we have to multiply that by 2 to get it to be 100. And if we multiply the denominator by 2, then we have to multiply the numerator by 2. So 3 times 2 equals 6. So we end up with 6 one hundredths and then we take what the numerator is and make it into a percent. So it equals six percent. Finally we have our real-life application. Example three, a drought affects nine out of twelve Midwestern states. What percent of the Midwestern states are affected by the drought? So nine twelfths equals three-fourths. So all we did was simplify that fraction and then we take 3 fourths and we make it so that its denominator equals 100 and that's shown over here for you in the blue box. We multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator by 25 and that equals 75 one hundredths and that equals 75 percent. So 75 percent of the Midwestern states are affected by the drought. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the on your own problems below. They're also on pages 220 and 221 of your math textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson. Complete it. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always, have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip. You must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed and you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. 
We'll see you in class tomorrow.